audible cavitation. When you hear the joint go click, is it relevant? No. In fact, the most powerful part of the audible cavitation or that cracking sound might be psychological, not neurophysiological, because we don't need to hear the click for the technique to be effective. But the problem comes if the patient or the practitioner has bought into this concept that they have to have an audible cavitation for the technique to be effective. If the patient's coming in and they're expecting to hear a loud crack when you try and manipulate something, they're probably going to liken a positive treatment outcome to an audible cavitation, which is just not the case. If the therapist is likening an audible cavitation to a successful technique, well, fundamentally, they don't understand the whole process, but they're on a really sticky wicket. You shouldn't chase the crack. The research shows time and time again that you don't need to hear a big audible crack, clunk, whack sound for the technique to be effective. You test it, you treat it, you retest it. See if there's been tangible change, but don't chase the cracking sound. We, we know this and social media is doing a lot of patients a disservice because you've got a lot of these guru therapists with very, very bad technique, putting brute force and ignorance into joints, trying to hear these big cracking sounds, giving a misrepresentation of actually what manipulation or manipulative therapy is. So boil it down, guys. There's free research on our online platform. Have a look at what the science is saying. Do you need to hear a, a crack? No, you don't. Is it nice? Is it fun? We high five ourselves if it happens. Brilliant. Happy days. But don't expect it. Don't chase it. Boom.